So much media, so little time. Who keeps track of it all? That would be me. This is Bob Andelman, and this is a Mr. Media interview, broadcast and recorded live on blogtalkradio.com from the new media and baseball capital of the world, St. Petersburg, Florida. If you consider yourself a little choosy when it comes to movies, you probably either read newspaper reviews or watch a movie review show on TV. And there are some reviewers who come a little more highly recommended than others. There was Siskel, there was Ebert. And since I was a kid growing up in New Jersey, there's always been Jeffrey Lyons. Lyons is back with a new syndicated TV show, Real Talk with Lyons and Bales, and he's here to tell us a little bit about it. Jeffrey Lyons, welcome to Mr. Media. Hello. Hi. Je I'm here. Hey, how you doing? All right. Nice to thanks for having me. Oh, my pleasure. Good to good to good to talk to you. I've watched it for many years. Oh, um, thank you. Jeffrey, tell me about your new show, Real Talk with Lions and Bales. New show? We've been on for, this is our third, this is starting our second year in syndication. You know, it's funny, it's funny you said that, because what I read said it was starting this season, so I thought that was wrong, so I stand corrected. Oh, come on. Well, yeah, uh, well, I don't think our time is terribly good in, in, in your market, but that can always be improved. Well, that's all right. Well, what, what sets it apart from the other shows? What do you do differently? Well, first of all, I'm the father of the co-host of the other show at the movies. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Ben Lyons is my son. He just got that job. All right. Uh, well, we first of all we have a woman, Allison Bales, mm -hmm. and there's no other woman national critic on TV, and she's English, and she's an Oxford graduate, and she is an expert in independent films. She hosted uh, this week at the Angelica for years on the Independent Film Channel, and uh, that's a perspective. And we do eight movies a week. We have an interview with an actor uh, whose film at least one of us liked that week. I'm not going to have an actor on uh, on our show uh, after we've killed his or her film. That would be disingenuous. But we do have that. And uh, I like to think my, my research is the best in the business. I will compare my questions and my – I bring out facts about actors' lives and careers that they forgot about, that no one else knows about. Uh, also, we have the new DVD releases, and we have a thing called Final Take at the end, in which uh, both of us talk about something in the business that either happened that week or an anniversary coming up or a trend that uh, either delights us or alarms us, and we cover, we cover all the movies in, in, in quick fashion. So uh, we also like each other, unlike uh, our predecessors years ago. Uh, so, and I've been doing this. I did, re I did sneak previews, the old Cisco and Ebert show, uh, when they left to go to commercial television. So I've been doing this kind of show since 1982, and I've been reviewing movies since 1970. And I studied acting at Lee Strasberg, and my godfather was a Pulitzer Prize winning playwright, and my godmother was a contract player at MGM in the 30s. So I know what I'm talking about. And my dad was a Broadway columnist, and I grew up knowing actors. And Orson Welles was my dad's best friend, and his daughter is one of my best friends. So. Uh, I don't know what that's worth, but I, I just know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. And I, and I have to say, as a father, I steeped my son in that, too. Most kids his age don't know or did, uh, growing up didn't watch Hitchcock films, for example. He did. So uh, we're both well prepared. And my co-host, Allison Bales, is an expert, too, and also knows Iranian films. I got in a cab with her once, and she started talking to the cab driver about some film that played here a week and that was a big hit in Iran before the revolution. I mean, for goodness sake, that's, that's a, an area that I have no expertise on, and she covers that. So uh, that's, that, that's what kind of sets us apart. I like what How'd you I said do, about... Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I, I like, I like a, a, a critic has to have confidence, and I know you're not lacking in that, but well, I, liked what, I liked what you said before about uh, that either you or Allison has to like the film for you to have a yeah. It's uh, not fair to the actor to come on. You know, we kill their film and then have them. I'm Robert Wool, who was a very funny guy. I was with him at the Hall of Fame, the Baseball Hall of Fame, last week, uh, saluting the 20th anniversary of Bull Durham. And he said, hey, how come you guys always like the movie of the, for the guest? That you? I said, it's not true. At least one of us likes it. Because otherwise, it's just disingenuous. You know, it's on tape. The actor has no idea what we thought of the film. And they're coming to publicize it. And if we don't like the film, we don't particularly want to publicize it. So that's the only dynamic there. But that makes it different because we don't only have them on to do a shill interview. I'll ask them about their first role or something they auditioned for and didn't get or forgot about in their life or somebody who, who was a mentor to them or their favorite film growing up or something that they had no idea that I knew about. And I I love doing that. All right. Well, look, you mentioned Robert Wool, and one of my favorite uh, guilty pleasures over the years is Hollywood Nights. So yeah, yeah. What's, the, what's the 10 second review on Hollywood Nights? A lot of fun. Robert Wool on the way up. 
very funny guy, very witty, and uh, that that that's one of his uh, one of his favorite roles. He's a very funny guy, and he's very good in Bull Durham. And this thing he's doing now called Assume the Position. Have you seen it? It's yep. on H. What's that? Yeah, I have. As a matter of yeah. fact, he came on the show to, to talk about it last year. Yes, it's on HBO, and he's a good buddy of mine. We're, we're, well, I met him on a plane once about 15 years ago, and we, we wound up sitting next to each other heading out to L.A., and he and I are sports nuts, particularly baseball. I wrote four baseball books with my brother, and uh, Robert really, really knows his stuff. Uh, and you didn't want to sit near us. You would not have slept that night because we're going over <laughs> – you know, lineups of the old St. Louis Browns and, uh, you know, uh, uh, first and third base coaches on the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, I can do that. And, you know, so it, it's uh, Robert's a good buddy. And uh, his, his Assume the Position is a wonderful, wonderful series about American history. Right. He goes out in front of a classroom. I think it's yeah. Really good. Yeah. I want that to be a series. Uh, HBO ran a couple of them, and it's so well done. I've seen him do it live, too. And <laughs> He's, he, and I've seen his stand-up stuff. He's a very funny guy, very witty guy, too. So uh, we only have a little bit of time. Tell me about your son doing uh, the other movie reviews. Isn't that That's strange? That's got to be a little strange. Yeah, it is strange, isn't it? Isn't that strange? Uh, uh, yeah, well, uh, he started out on the E! Channel. First of all, he was on MTV, and then he started out. He, be, he remains on the E! Channel as their film critic on Daily Ten. Mm-hmm. And he's uh, contributed to Good Morning America. He'll be doing a piece coming up. That's network number two. He hosts My Family's Got Guts on the Nickelodeon channel. That's network number three. And then he got hired as the uh, successor to Roger Ebert, uh, in effect, on at the movies. Now, I succeeded Ebert on sneak previews back in 1982. And now my son, all these years later, has at the movies. So he's on, uh, at last count, four different networks talking mm-hmm. about movies. And he's well-prepared. And uh, his show is almost as good as mine. <laughs> but I never dreamed all those years. I spent 12 years flying to Chicago while doing New York's WPIX TV. I went to Chicago right. every two weeks, stayed at my in-law's house overnight, which is probably why I got the job. They saved on hotel fee for me. And I first did it with Neil Gabler, uh, the author, for two, week, for two seasons. And then Michael Medved, the arch-conservative uh, pundit. Uh, and we, 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 we would, you, you don't want to hear our debates between, between takes, but we remain close friends. And I did that for, for 12 seasons. And now the show is still taped in Chicago. The difference is my son has to fly to Chicago from L.A. every two weeks. So there, there, you know, what goes around comes around. And Saturday nights he's in Las Vegas at the Hard Rock Hotel hosting their, their party. He's 26 and single in Las Vegas. How did that life escape me? I don't know. Somehow you guys remind me of that Saturday Night Live sketch about the Jamaican family where they're all arguing about who had the more jobs. <laughs> Well, yeah, but uh, he has he has the more jobs. But uh, I hope people watch us first and then, then then compare notes with him. There's room for both of us. I, I I agree. And folks, check your local listings for the day and time of Real Talk with Lions and Bales in your in your neighborhood. And for more fun with Jeffrey Lyons, go to the show's website www.realtalktv.com. Jeffrey, thank you so much for joining us today on Mr. Media. Thanks for having me. Continued good luck. Okay, appreciate it. All right, bye-bye. For dozens more celebrity and media newsmaker interviews, surf over to our main website, www.mrmedia.com. That's where you can listen to my earlier conversations with Billy Bob Thornton, Cheryl Hines, Jeff Garland, Robert Schimmel, Kirk Douglas, and the aforementioned Robert Wool, among many, many others. And please think about writing an online review of Mr. Media, casting a vote for Mr. Media, or marking Mr. Media as one of your favorites. That's whether you listen to the show on Blog Talk Radio, DigitalJournal.com, Podcast Pickle, Vox, Folio, MediaFly, Podfeed.net, Blueberry, Zencast, Audio, Kindle Reader, or iTunes. And if you've got an idea for a guest, email me directly at Bob at Andelman, A-N-D-E-L-M-A-N.com. Thanks so much for joining us today, everybody. I always appreciate when you give a little bit of your day up to spend it with us. Come back real soon.